And so you've heard the saying, it looks too good to eat. Well, after this next story, you're going to know exactly what that means. Yeah, it's pretty amazing what people can do with cake. They can literally transform them into works of art. In today's Day in the Life, Sean Stryker stops by Miss Patty Cake in Snow Hill to try his hand at cake decorating. Artists typically paint, sculpt, or sketch their artwork. Patty McDermott is no different, except she's sketching out cake designs, sculpting fondant, and painting icing. I sort of had art ADD where I would kind of bounce around to all different types of mediums, and it was just one of those things that I thought, well, I'll try my hand at it, and it was a lot of fun. I uh, made a cake for my dad's birthday. It was a UFO and had all crazy things like Stephen Hawking on it and a cow and stuff. So um, I just loved it. I had a ball with it and I just kept going from there. So with the encouragement of her now husband and mother-in-law, Patty went to culinary school and would go on to open Miss Patty Cake in Snow Hill in 2012. We actually live in this this town too, so it's a nice small town. I didn't really know what to expect, but we exploded from day one. Patty's day usually starts around 7 a.m. when she bakes everything she needs for the day. But baking the cakes are only a small piece of the puzzle for Patty and her team. What they're all about is decorating. It could start months in advance, so it depends on what you know someone is ordering. Someone might want you know to see a sketch of it, so. You know, it starts from when they're placing the order, and if it's a, a wedding order, it could be, you know, a month to a year in advance. After the cake is designed, Patty begins assembling it. Figuring she might need a hand, I decided to offer my services. Okay, you want to have a go at it? Uh, <laughs> yes. You're going to be awesome. <laughs> what, okay, so what, no, what do I do? I just... All right, so you want to get it as close as possible Without to the cake? Without touching it? Oh, uh, you can actually touch it just okay. a little bit, yeah, because you don't want any air so pockets I, in there. And you're going to squeeze pressure from here, and at the same time, you're going to turn that to be really <laughs> coordinated. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> not something I have, coordination. I also have about like 10 of these to go out, so you probably have to do a little bit faster. <laughs> uh, and just how do I get the little dot hole? In, the, in the center. Just a little line? Just a little line. Oh, oh, <laughs> honestly, honestly. That's not that bad. That's pretty good. Patty perfected a technique that allows her to give the icing a nice, smooth finish. A lot of our cakes are buttercream finished, and it just we can smooth it down as um, nicely as fondant looks. Um, that's kind of our specialty, that we can make buttercream look like fondant. For those of you who don't know, fondant is a type of icing. It can be molded into all types of things and will be used to help turn this into this. There's a lot of steps along the way. So obviously we have to airbrush the top to make it nice, that nice red crab tone color. Um, we're also going to have to add these nice fondant wood pieces um, around the side to make it look like that wood basket. Um, and of course, then we also need the crabs. Started by making one, which needs to be airbrushed, um, but would like to have you make one as well. So I guess you're going to leave me with this? And yeah, I'm going to leave you too. We need one more crab to go on top. All right, I'll call <laughs> you when I'm done. Great. <laughs> now let me make this clear. I in no way had any experience with fondant, let alone sculpting it into little crabs. Nevertheless, I did my best. All right, Patty, you ready? I'm ready. I think you're going to be impressed by this. All right, let's see. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, I don't know about awesome. It kind of looks like a jellyfish what? mixed with the crab. If I saw this crab come out of the ocean, I would not eat it. <laughs> His eyes are a little dilated, yeah. but other than that, he looks awesome. All that was left to do was airbrush the crab to give it a realistic, fresh out of the pot look. All right. All right, and then they just go right there on top. That's right. And then there's mine, minus a leg. Lost a leg. It's okay. <laughs> you can't really tell anyway. Right. Now, I put an SS on top so you could tell which one I did. I know, it's hard to Compared to the one you the did. Because, yeah. they're, you know, they're very similar. It's, but, it's a good thing you did that. Well, I mean, what do you think? My I think it's try. awesome. We need a, the final touch is the Old Bay, though. Uh, the Old Bay? The sugar Old Bay. Okay. So go ahead and sprinkle some of that on and top. And then this is ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, well, whoever gets this cake, they're lucky, needless to <laughs> I say. I know. You should sign the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and while some people don't like the idea of cutting into these awesome cakes, Patty says that's the best part. And for Patty, 
She says it's her customers' faces when they see her creations that's priceless. Some people just freak out over it. They get so excited. They give you a hug. They, um, you know, squeal, and it, it's really an awesome feeling. Um, we had someone this week that um, picked up a cake, and she was so excited she started crying, and it, you know, really surprised me. But um, it's, it's just awesome. It makes you feel really, really good. All right, so I think it's safe to say Sean should probably stick to TV. <laughs> he did bring us back some cupcakes, though, and we all agreed they were very good. Delicious. Yes. And I think Patty had as much fun with Sean as Sean I think did she Patty. did. I just hope she didn't see us decorating that Smith Island cake the other day. Oh. That would be embarrassing. That would be bad. <laughs> well, anyway, from cakes to pie, peach pie uh -huh. to be exact, you're going to see Lisa and me duke it out over our very own peach pie eating contest in honor of the upcoming Dover Days Festival. Plus, what would a festival be without entertainment? We get a preview of 13 the Musical a little later. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.